Today we have a really fast, really easy dinner to make during the week when you've worked late and you have to run home, get dinner ready, or if you're like me, you overslept during your afternoon nap and now you're in a hurry to make dinner. So we're gonna make honey garlic chicken and vegetable fried rice. We're gonna have Chinese takeout at home tonight. We're gonna use, for the honey garlic chicken, we're gonna use this honey that I got from a local, what do you call those people? Beekeeper. <laughs> we're gonna use this honey that I got from a local beekeeper. This is fresh from the hive honey. I don't know if you can see how clear that is but it is so pretty and it tastes so good. So we're gonna use this honey. We're gonna start cooking the chicken first. Okay. Okay, so this is really easy. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna heat up some coconut oil in our skillets. You can use vegetable oil, coconut oil, whatever kind of oil you want. I just have coconut oil. I'll put a little bit of that in there. Let that melt. And I've already cut up the chicken because everybody knows how to cut chicken, I imagine. Although I'm sure it would probably be pretty entertaining trying to watch a almost blind girl cut chicken, but I still have all my fingers, so. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and throw this chicken in there. I lost my chicken, there it is. And right, chicken in there. We're gonna let this get nice brown, cook through. If you have extra time and you really wanna you really wanna do this, you can bread this chicken and make it like the like you would get if you ordered Chinese takeout. But I personally we don't have to have it breaded. We like it like this. So we're gonna go ahead and make our sauce while the chicken is browning. Our sauce is gonna be a half cup of honey, a quarter cup of soy sauce, garlic, and ginger. It's all the sauces. It's really, really easy. And you can use, I'm using powdered ginger today because the grocery store we went to didn't have fresh ginger. Um, so you can use either one, fresh or the powdered. Lost my measuring cups. So I'm gonna spray my little measuring cup here. I'm sure everybody knows the honey trick, but that's how you get the honey out of the measuring cup. You spray it with oil, and then it comes out better. Ooh. I mean, if we get a little bit extra, it's not like it. It's gonna hurt anything, right? We're gonna call that a half cup. Looks like about half cup to me. Right. We're gonna put our soy sauce. We're using is it light low sodium soy sauce because it's really really salty. And, you know, like I've said before, we try really hard to be healthy. Ish. Third of a cup of soy sauce. And I've got some garlic over here that I have used in my garlic press. I've done up in my garlic press. If it's easier for you to chop the garlic by hand, by all means, go for it and chop the garlic by hand. If you don't see the garlic very well, this thing is a lifesaver because chopping tiny things can be dangerous. If you, and I don't know, I imagine most people have used one of these, but if you haven't, you just, you put your garlic in there, you squeeze the handles together, and it comes out one of these sides, over here, all minced up, and then the parts that you don't use, they just stay in there and you throw them away. 
So we'll add our garlic in there. And I put about a teaspoon and a half of ginger. That's kind of one of those things that's all, all up to your taste. All right, so we're gonna give that a mix, get all that stuff in there together. It smells really good. Alright, chicken on chicken here, get a stir. I got some sesame seeds. I love sesame seeds. And I'm just gonna put some of these in here and let them kind of toast up while the chicken's cooking. I think that'll taste yummy. Just like anything else we've learned, tell when the meat is done by feeling it, you know what it should feel like. There's a trick. If you press this part of your hand with each finger, so this would be, this would be rare. This would be medium rare, medium well, and well done what that part of your hand feels like is about what your meat should feel like at those particular temperatures. That's what I have used and I'm pretty sure I haven't served anybody any raw meat yet. And if I have, they were too nice to tell me. So. All right, so we got that chicken. In there, we're just gonna take our sauce, put that right on top of it. Mm, so good. I'm gonna get a spatula and get all of that out of there. I wanna find my spatula. There it is. Scrape that out, because that is yummy. Now, while this is kinda sitting together, doing its thing. Letting all those flavors get up into chicken. I'm going to move this out of the way. And we are going to make some fried rice. Fried rice is the easiest thing you will ever make in your life. I promise. I've lost my little spoon. I bet at this point you guys have spent more time watching me look for things than you have watched me cook. So we turn our fire, we're gonna get some more of this coconut oil. I have a wok. I like to cook the fried rice in my wok, but I didn't want to get it out just for this quick dinner. Fried rice needs to be made with cold rice. So if you have time to plan for your dinner, you can cook your rice in the morning or the day before and throw it in the fridge and let it get nice and cold. That's all sticky. Let it get nice and cold. Or if you're in a hurry, you can do what I did and take the leftover rice you had from a few nights ago it's already cold and use that. Get our skillet nice and hot. You want your skillet to be hot for this. So just gonna put our rice in there. And we're gonna give this about two tablespoons of soy sauce. It doesn't need a lot. This is also something that if you don't have soy sauce in your cabinet, I bet you have soy sauce packets in your sauce condiment drawer from the last time you ordered Chinese takeout. One of those is like a tablespoon of soy sauce, so you would just need two. So you get that soy sauce mixed in there. I've got some peas. Use whatever frozen vegetables you have to put in your rice. That's probably a lot of peas, but that's okay. 
Molly likes peeing. Has anybody seen that movie? Does anybody know what movie that is? If you can tell me what movie that is, I will be super impressed with you. All right. So we're gonna let that kind of fry up and I am gonna do two eggs. I like eggs in my fried rice. And then when you put your eggs in, you wanna do it just like that. Just like I did in the skillet here. You wanna separate, push the rice and the veggies all to the middle. Scramble that egg right in the middle of your rice. If you do this in a wok, you do it a little bit differently, but we're doing it in a in a skillet. Very nice and cooked in there. All right, our egg is cooked. So we can mix all that together. Get the egg spread out through the rice here. And that's it, that's fried rice. It is that easy. Now we've got our chicken. Like I said, I just wanna give this just a minute for this sauce to kinda thicken and get sticky on this chicken. If you put cornstarch on your chicken, your sauce will thicken much faster. All right, this is done. So yeah, that dinner took like 20 real fast minutes to make. Get my chicken spatula here, I've lost that. Is that my chicken spatula? Nah, that's what we'll call it. Get some more chicken on here. And then we can get some of that sauce, kind of drizzle it on top. I'm about to make a mess, guys. Kind of drizzle it on top there. And put some, uh, there's my rice spatula. Where's my skillet here? All right. Put some of this rice on the plate. And there you go. You have dinner that took 20 minutes to make and tastes better than you would get at the Chinese delivery place. So I'll try it, see what this tastes like. It's really, really good. All right, so that's it. I just wanted to do something quick. Show you guys something quick to make. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos, subscribe. Follow us on Facebook for some cool content at facebook.com slash blindgirlcooks. And we will see you next time.